Yes, yes. Morning time again, guys. Try a thing there. Come check out the girls, them. Absolutely. One week after me feed them. And I'm showing you something, guys. So the hive here, hive here. I forgot to talk about the hive here because the queen is here, you know. But what happened inside the hive here right now, guys? See this debris? They have so this is one of the first time hive them that was here a long time ago. So like they have a lot of cross comb inside there where very old they now use them again so they might try chew down some of them comb there to make space to build new comb but they can't do it as fast as how they, they want to so if me not fix this problem they might go swarm they might go swarm away from this box so me have to fix this problem and I'm going to say today but as soon as me get a little sunshine properly now we fix this problem. I we'll pull some brood frame from pull some brood frames from the hives, like two, two or maybe three from hives that I can get one one from or so to put in a box that I can transfer that queen into that box and render all those combs down because. If I should go in there, it's going to be a lot of cross comb, so I have to have a specific day where the sun is shining a bit. So that's for another day. But the girls are doing quite fine. They don't have a lot of storage as I, um, I checked. Their honey heart is going down, which means they are using up what they have. What I gave them, they also use it up also, which tells me that there isn't a lot of nectar coming in at this time. They're not finding a lot, but they're quite busy back and forth hunting that nectar to bring back to the hive, but they're not finding it like they would want. So they're just surviving from the sugar syrup that I gave them. So that's what they're surviving from at this moment, the sugar syrup that I gave them. So what I have to do now is just try to have a little gauge on feeding the bees because I'm not really 100% sure when the flow or a pre-flow would be happening in this area because I think this is what the, the second season in this area for trial thing so I'm not sure when the flow would be hidden in this area but I'm getting myself ready and getting the bees ready so that when it hits we can get something a harvest a good harvest from this apron and like I came here after burial and I clean all these whistles down as you can see there's some in the corner there that dried up so I clean all these whistles down and because the rain keep falling it's like a fertilizer to them whistle the water is like a fertilizer to them whistle it just make them they grow constant like mud yeah but there's a little swarm in the mango tree up there but uh, I don't think I have the time to catch that swarm today there it is up there there's a little swarm right up there but I don't think I have the time to get it so what I'm going to do is I have a few boxes that I have set up so if they decide that they want to move in it would be good for them but for now I'm focused on getting these girls up to speed, that's the plan.
not really focusing on a swarm right now which I love swarms everybody know that but I have more important target to get to that I'm late on in some of the April so thanks for watching please do remember to subscribe like and share to try a thing TV thank you you